Hello and welcome everyone, Richard Schneeman here. I want to talk to you about Active Record Includes. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's say we pull out some products from our database. We pull out 22 products, so no problem so far, so good. And let's say we keep on going, we iterate over each one of those products, and in this scenario, um, a product can have a user. So uh, <clears throat> as we are iterating and we are looping through our products, we grab that uh, we grab that user and uh, can anybody spot the problem here? Okay, well, hopefully uh, hopefully you did. Um, it is going to look something a little bit like this. Uh, we are going to pull out those users or all those those products, and then for each one of those products, we're going to pull out uh, users. So that's going to be an extra SQL query. We are going to have n plus one SQL queries. This is not good. This isn't very performant. It's super slow. You can check out your logs. So don't do this. How can we fix it? Well, it's pretty simple. We can just tell our active record association early on that we want to include our user. So when we do this, it will say, go ahead and have a um, do a do a subquery. So let's uh, let's see exactly what that's what that's going to look like. So when we when we run that, we're going to get something a little bit closer to this. It's going to be much more performant, and you you can see here we only took uh, 2.2 milliseconds inside of Active Record. All right. So at its heart, uh, includes use subqueries. A subquery is a fancy term for two queries with an in. Uh, so we talked about using in in the where video. If you missed that, go back and so first off, we're going to run this query and select our. 22 products. We're going to limit it to 22. And then once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and pull all of our users that have a product ID. So here um, we are going to use that in query syntax to uh, go ahead and um, pull all of those all of those users. That's really convenient. It's uh, it's pretty quick. Uh, it's called a subquery, and with Rails we get it using the includes. So if you have some n plus one problems, then go ahead and maybe uh, maybe check out using the includes. You can check your logs. You should just see a ton. If you see a ton of SQL queries, one after the other, after the other, after the other, then you'll know that is the problem. Thank you very much for tuning in. Again, I'm Richard Schneeman.